Hello, Moonbeam87 Faithful. It is your favorite host. I was a good boy this Christmas. I got Cowboy Bebop, the full series, and the full series of Fooly Cooly. Now, with that out of the way. <coughs> And with that out of the way, let's get to the real business at hand, introducing you to my favorite, Jellicle. And no, I am not talking about Micah Strap, Victor, Tumble Brutus, Silbub, Pounceful, Plato, Carbacetti, Bill Bailey, Admetus, George, Genghis, Bomb Ballerina, Gilbert, Demeter, Alonzo, Jelly Lorum, Rumple Teaser, or Mungo Jerry, even though Rumple Teaser is a very beautiful crowd pleaser. I'm not talking about her. Uh, Tantamil, uh, Coricopat, Cassandra, Gus, also known as Asparius, Electra, Lester for Jones, etc. Mr. Mustafa is also known as Quaxo. McCavity, Jemima, or Jemima, whichever your pronunciation is. Old Deuteronomy, Victor, Victoria. Uh, the the Rum Tum Tugger, Grizabella. Scumbleshanks, Jenny A. Dots, Rumpus Cat, or even uh, um, even uh, ba Bailey Vanderveen's, uh, what I like to call a Tomboy, is not my favorite. And know what you're thinking, who can it be? But, uh, my favorite, Jellicle. His name is Little Joe, uh, the Moonlight Cat. Moonlight Cat is such a brat. And now I shall start by shaving my whiskers and showing you who this Little Joe is. Alright, as I said, as you should know, my favorite Jellicle is Little Joe. I have started by using Nick's... Uh, Shine Killer as a base, and I am now mapping out the uh, white with uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. Thank you. 
He wears a mask that of a coon, and is mysterious as the moon. Lighten up this part up here a bit. And I shall go in with the with the beat blenders. Okay, so I use the beauty blenders now. So I use the black beauty blender. Blend the white up as much as you can.
This is my first time using the, the Beauty Blender sponge, as you can probably tell. Or any NYX cosmetic. Kins do not have white masks, and neither does Soto Joe. Why did I just do that? Next, to lock the cream in place with some white. Uh, eyeshadows. I got some smoky fine eyeshadow from NYX. And I shall be using that for my eyeshadows. And next I shall go in with NYX Jumbo Black Bean for the eyes. Old Joe has a mask. Out of a coon. And she is mysterious. As the... Moonlight. Soto Joe, the Moonlight Cat. And what a brat do is my cat. He's always ready for a fight. He'll always lock your doors at night. The moonlight cat is such a brat. He'll start a fight with any cat. All the cats are way too smart. To fight this young one with an art, he will start and he will end. He is one to defend. Created by moonbeams from up on high, little Joe is a joyful. You cannot deny. Mask more defined.
find me in the stick of breakfast. The first thing. So I use the original Beauty Blender this time. Yeah, make sure you keep your eye at least one eye closed when doing this. Blending the mask with the already pigmented white. And you want the mask to cover the eyebrows. Because that's one thing that differentiates me from all the other channels. Alonzo has one eyebrow. Little Joe has none. We now go in with some black eyeshadow to lock in the cream for the mask. <coughs> As I said, Little Joe's litter brother, Alonzo, has one eyebrow. But Little Joe himself has no eyebrows.
And as I said, Little Joe was born on May 8th, 1987, which was a Friday. You can look that up on your smartphones or tablets or whatever device you have available to you. But May 8th, 1987 was a Friday, and it is Little Joe's birthday. You can ask Miss Kenny Malo on that one. She is the second, no, third mother of Little Joe. When I, uh, technically the third mother of Little Joe. The first would be Miss Valerie Elliott. Who I who is an inadvertent mother, as she gave the poems to Mr. T uh, Angela Glover. The second is Miss Jillian Lynn, who uh, did the dance choreography. Next, I'm going to use. My Royal Nickel uh, Brush and NYX Gel Liner for the nose and lips. Jellicle cats have cheerful faces.
as I do not have uh, the liquid liner, liquid eyeliner that Bailey Vanderveen has, I have to make uh, little adjustments and improvise. Too slow, so now past it. Created by Moonbeams from up on high. The little Joe is a Jellico. You cannot deny. I should use a bit more of the gel liner for the mask as well to help darken it up. After all, it is a brow brush I am using. Little Joe's original colors were burgundy, blue, and green, as he was a copycat of Gus, sort of. Here's the original scarf, or a scarf with the original makeup on it. Right here is the smudge of makeup of Little Joe, as you can see, burgundy, this is the original color, and these are the only remaining pieces of the original Little Joe costume, or his leg warmers. The warmers are the original little pieces of the little, original Little Joe costume. So as you can see, I still have original Little Joe makeup and costume. However, since the release of the 1998 uh, video, Cats... Little Joe has also grown up and has taken on a, a new look of his own. That of this. And now I shall be putting on the whiskers of the Moonlight Cat.
Little Jew is a nemesis of McCavity. Monster Patchy. He's the one I hate most of all. I still love him for that surprise of a pitfall. Mask. And speaking of a mask, let's use some mask. Uh, Mascara. Help pops the eyeshadow. Not getting it in your eye. You hate yourself. Enough. Perhaps they should have started with mascara. Illusion is almost complete. Since Jellicles have moonlit eyes, I have a little surprise. Let's use some glittery gray eyeshadow. help give the little well, it helps lock it in place this gives a little depth and if there's a spotlight on there Helps the moonlight shine on it. The local cats have moonlit eyes. Next, we use the NYX Studio HD powder to lock everything in place.
guess you only need a little bit. I'll get that flying more than I thought. Next comes the costume. Little Joe is under the tree. Whoopee! Ornaments falling on his head. The dread. <sighs> Merry Christmas from the Moonlight Cat, who is such a tiny uh, little brat. <laughs>